helping to put Northwest Indiana on the map. Kelly, please also uh, remain so that you can help us with this presentation. <laughs> Mayor Joseph Stohara helped transform a sleepy company town into an evolving 21st century destination. This shift had its <coughs> roots in the uh, 2004 tax crisis that led to an innovative entrepreneurial culture that reinvigorated the community. These actions led to multi-million dollar investments that <coughs> included lakefront beautification, a revitalized downtown, and the National Mascot Hall of Fame. He and his team created a new mindset in the face of a changing tax structure that really shook Northwest Indiana's communities to the core. He was inducted into the society in 2011. Please welcome a Northwest Indiana trailblazer, Mayor Joe Sahara. Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm, I'm very humbled to uh, be standing here tonight and be inducted as a fellow. And I certainly want to thank the society for the honor. You know, in the business of managing a local uh, government agency, where, believe it or not, the rules change daily, uh, we're constantly forced, forced to search for new ways to be innovative and creative. You know, if you can't find ways to do so, your community will certainly suffer at some point in time. These statements have really never been more truer than they are today. You know, being a mayor or a government official, or any government official for that matter, is like riding a roller coaster. Sometimes you're at the top and sometimes you're stuck at the bottom. Believe me, in Whiting, we've been uh, at both ends of the spectrum. From facing a loss of 50% of our local revenue due to the property tax reassessment process to opening a new $50 million lakefront uh, park, it's really been a wild ride. In 2004, after the wheels came off the roller coaster during the tax crisis, my team crafted a strategy to first stabilize the situation, then laid out a roadmap to grow the property tax base of the community. Our plan was simply to transform Whiting into a mini destination where we could attract new visitors to our community. This would then foster new commercial and residential growth. Our tourism strategy was focused on enhancing public spaces, primarily our Whiting Lakefront Park and our new sports venues that we had recently built. Adding a signature tourism attraction was also deemed crucial. So to capitalize on the wackiness of our famous pierogi fest, the concept of the National Mascot <coughs> Hall of Fame, a new world-class children's attraction was born. After nearly two years of planning and due diligence, we are now holding the groundbreaking ceremony for that facility tomorrow. To add to our tourism assets, a new lakefront restaurant, banquet facility, and boutique hotel are now expected to follow soon. You know, local government is a team sport. I'm just a guy who dreams up crazy ideas, points fingers occasionally, and puts the roller coaster back on the tracks once in a while. I wouldn't have accomplished anything uh, that I've mentioned today without the efforts of my staff, who of course are much smarter than I am, and of course do all the work. <laughs> so I feel it's important to share the credit with them tonight. I'd also be remiss if I didn't mention our city council and each and every board and commission that work for the city, who not only ask the tough questions, but support the strategies that we have developed, and then allow me to take the calculated risks that allow us to be truly innovative. I would certainly also want to take a few seconds to publicly acknowledge that both the RDA and our friends at the BP Whiting Refinery, their partnership has without question helped fuel our progress. I'll close by saying that the majority of my colleagues in local government are also brilliantly in innovating every day, but somehow we need to find ways to convince the legislature to encourage innovation rather than stifle it. I know we can do more, but we need the tools and the flexibility to do so. Thank you. Thank you.